see you. Well, good evening, everyone. Um, it is great to see you all turn out in such numbers. Um, I'm sorry that many of you will have been here since half past seven, um, waiting for the, the big arrival of our speakers. So I hope um, you will very much enjoy this debate. Um, the secretary will now read the minutes of the previous meeting. I propose the minutes to take the <coughs> It has been proposed and seconded that the, meeting, that the minutes of the last meeting be taken as read. Is this your will? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Minutes will be taken as read. I will now sign the minutes as a true and accurate record. We have to do this every time, don't worry. <coughs> Is there any questions of officers pertaining to their official duties? Daniel? Uh, evening, everyone. Um, this is really a message for new members. Uh, you might not know, but the Union Society has its own bar. It's called 24 North Bailey Club. Uh, as the name suggests, it is literally 24 on uh, North Bailey. It's between Chad's and John's. Uh, so uh, everyone is invited back to 24's uh, after the debates, regardless of whether or not you've been invited to the reading room. Uh, the bar is open at 8.30 every night onwards. So uh, hopefully you'll be able to come and enjoy it. Thank you. Daniel, any further questions? Yeah. Um, hi everyone, I'm just letting you all know that we have our first Fresher Social on Wednesday in 24s. We're going to have lots of pizza and drinks and food, so if you're a new Fresher member then feel free to come along. Um, we also have our ball on the 2nd of November, which is happening at Beamish Hall. Um, you can buy tickets from inside here in the main office or online. They're £58.50 for members and they're selling out quite fast. We also have elections next week for social committee, which is great fun. I would encourage everyone here to get involved with the committee of the union. It's very rewarding. And um, finally, hi everyone, I'm Kez, I'm the Director of Debating, and if you guys are interested in not just watching these wonderful speakers debate in your time at the Union, all of our members are able to come along to <coughs> classes, we have three streams a week that train you to debate, and we go to different universities every weekend, and international competitions where we teach you to debate. This summer we went to Warsaw at the European University Debating Championships, our team was ranked top in Europe, and four of the top ten speakers in Europe attend Durham. So if you want to get involved, even if you've never done it before, come along to the chamber at, on Thursday at 7, which is right, we'll do it running up into the Brexit event, another panel discussion, a bit like this one that we'll be having on Thursday. So if you're interested in debating in, in any capacity at all, we'll tell you all about it then. So please come along Thursday at 7 in the chamber. Is there any private business? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay, hello everyone, I'm Max Emmett, I'm the Acting Returning Officer, so as you can probably guess, our society is run by various committees who do all the various roles, and I'm in charge of making sure those committees are elected. Uh, so there are three committees that are being elected this Friday, and two committees elected the following Friday. Uh, so following Friday are social and sponsorship, the three this Friday are Presidents Committee, uh, Consultants Committee, and House Committee. So I'm going to invite Tom to talk to about uh, Consultative and President. Hello everyone, I'm the Acting Secretary of the Union and the Secretary is in charge of Consultative Committee, which is the committee that acts as the link between the Union and individual colleges. Um, so if you're interested in getting involved, it's probably the most easygoing committee. Um, so if you're interested in getting involved, then please do turn up to um, Friday's elections um, just after the debate. Um, I'm also President-elect, so I'll be President next term in Epiphany term and uh, we will be electing my President's Committee, helping me invite speakers um, <coughs> next fri this Friday as well, uh, after the debate. So do come along if you'd like to get involved in either of those committees. Thank you. And Patrick, if you can do introduction to the House Committee, or someone. All right, cool, yeah, um, I'm uh, sorry, in, in charge of House Committee, and House Committee is a committee of 10. Uh, they're the people we see in black tie. They basically make sure that everything on the night runs properly. Uh, it's a great way to uh, get introduced to the union because you get to go to all the debates, see what happens in the reading room and everything. Uh, so if you want to go for that, it's a great, great society to go to. Get a great way to get involved in society. So, okay. so to quickly reiterate, um, House Committee, there are 10 positions. 
uh, President's Committee, there are four positions, and then Consultative Committee, there are one position for each college, so if you want to do the maths on that, that's 16 positions. Uh, so in order to submit a nomination, there's a box outside the chamber where you can write your name, write what committee you want to run for. There's also an event on Facebook, which you, sh which you should be able to find, which has all the information, and also has a web form <coughs> which you can submit to me, which is probably my preferred way of doing it if you can. I'll be here at the end of the debate if you've got any questions about that. Um, I've got to go off now, though. Thanks very much. <coughs> thank you, Max. Uh, any further private questions? <coughs> no? Thank you. There being no further questions for <coughs> private business, we proceed to the main item of business for this uh, meeting, which is to debate the motion that this House believes the nation-state is an outdated concept. Speaking tonight, uh, we have very experienced panel um, for you. We have um, Jamie Conrani, um, a uh, history lecturer at Durham University who specialises in Eastern uh, European politics and nationalism. We have um, Dr. Jasper Heinsen, who is a history lecturer at the University of York with specialisms in 18th and 19th century uh, European nation state information. And we have Dr. Andre Keel, another Durham historian um, with specialism in European uh, history and cultural identity. On the opposing the motion tonight, we have uh, General Lord Dannett, the former Chief of the Defence Staff, the professional head of the British Army. Um, he is a Durham alumnus and past president of the Durham Union Society. Um, we have Ben Harris Quinney, who was chairman of the Bow Group. Um, he uh, is a centre right think tank. Uh, with strong links uh, to the Conservative Party. And we have Peter Hitchens, um, a journalist and broadcaster uh, who has won the Orwell Prize um, for his work, I dare say. Um, you can read his regular column in the mail on Sunday, uh, naturally. Um, so without further ado, um, ladies and gentlemen, we will introduce the first speaker for the proposition. I call upon Dr. James Conroy.